As software developers, we have a huge responsibility when it comes to protecting the data in our computers, especially if the project we're working on is not ours. You don't want to get in any legal trouble, do you? So as long as we have a computer, we're always exposed. In general terms, we could say that there are three main ways you can be hacked. Social engineering hacking. So this is basically when the hacker is trying to hack you instead of your computer. They will try to get all the information they can, so later on they can elaborate a plan to falsely use your identity. Careful there. Programming based hacking. Here they're using code to break the code. Sounds simple, but it's actually pretty complex. And also I think this is the most dangerous one because the problem is related to the platform and not with the user. Physical access hacking. Now, imagine that the hacker for some reason has physical access to your system. And to make things worse, you left your login info in a post-it note next to the keyboard. And I know, maybe this doesn't count technically as hacking, but I'm sure that you have a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about, right? And you probably already know all this, but for some reason people keep using passwords like password123 or qwerty321 or superman22. I like that one though. Okay, but anyway, here are a few recommendations that you could implement ASAP. If your computer allows it, set a password for your hard drive using the option in the BIOS. Also encrypt your hard drive by using the options provided by your operating system. Add a complex login password. Never connect to open or unknown networks unless it's an emergency. And if you do, connect to VPN right away. Maintain your operating system and apps up to date. Never reuse passwords for different accounts and preferably create independent accounts instead of logging in with Google as many platforms allow nowadays. Set up two-factor authentication when possible. You can go even further and create custom rules for your software firewall. Be careful with phishing and pop-ups when navigating the web. Check for SSL certificates. Turn off the autofill feature in your apps. Create an encrypted container for your most important sensible data. And please, please, don't leave your login info in a post-it note next to the keyboard. I know that this seems like a lot, but trust me, you can never be too careful when it comes to the digital world. Do you have any other recommendations? Because I'm pretty sure I missed a lot.